Hello and welcome to Friday's bonus edition of Cracking the Cryptic. We're, we're continuing this tradition. It's become a tradition of trying to solve um, the Friday Times crossword live for you on camera. I've realised I've got the wrong glasses on. That's not going to help me probably. Um, and this will be the last of these editions before Christmas. So uh, I must wish you all a very, very happy and healthy Christmas and all the best of luck for 2024. Although there might be another one of these before 2024, so we don't have to do Happy New Year today. Um, now, what do I know about today's crypto crossword? Almost nothing. The snitch rating is high. Um, it's about 125, so it's definitely harder than usual. Let's click stats and see if we see any names we recognize. I think Moan is John McCabe, I think. Very, very fast solver as a rule. Andy Fisher, Aphis 99, nine minutes. Verlaine, Matthew Marcus, the Times Crossword Champion, 10.51. So this is definitely not going to be a doddle today. Um, and with that, let's just, let's just kick into it. I've got so many videos to try and record over the Christmas period, it's not funny. Um, right, one across. Present journal containing conclusion to report handed down. And I think it means herand. Her oh, is it hereditary? It might be hereditary because pre if you're present, if somebody, if a school teacher is calling for the register, you might say here, meaning I'm present. So I quite like hereditary diary. Yeah, okay. So that's a that's a very fortunate guess here because we've got um, present here journal diary containing the conclusion to the word report, which is the final letter of the word report, that T there. I haven't done, by the way, I haven't done a crossword uh, for the last week. I've actually been away, um, away in Tenerife for a few days. It's very, very unusual for me to have a holiday. Uh, you won't have noticed the holiday because there have been videos every day. Um, but um, yeah, it's uh, it feels strange actually to be suddenly solving cryptic clues again. Right, let's have a look at one one down. Not oddly looking up, you pay the photographer's agent. Okay, I don't know what this is yet, but um, when you see phrases like not oddly, we need to think of those um, in a sort of numerical way. So not oddly to me means look at even, even numbered letters. Um, it could also be a reversal because this is a down clue and if you look upwards in a down clue that can indicate a reversal uh, so that yeah it's hypo or something I'm not actually that's a very strange word um, but if you look at the string of letter of words or <laughs> let's talk, sort your tongue out Simon let's look at the, the words you pay the and what the clue is telling us is to reverse those words and take the even numbered letters from that reversal. And if we do that, you can see we get the H, Y, P, O, hypo. Now I thought hypo was like a hypodermic needle or something, but it must be a word for a photographer's agent. In fact, I've got the dictionary, haven't I? So let's check and see whether we can just, I'm not changing the answer. So the only, only time I'll look up answers is where I'm either justifying something from a word play or where I'm not gonna change the answer. So if this is wrong, I'm gonna look very silly. Ooh, oh no, uh, oh. I see. So photographer's agent. I thought I'm so stupid. I thought it was um, it was, you know, a, a, the, the agent of somebody who took photographs for the for the Sun newspaper or something. But it's not. It's it's a chemical agent used to um, fix a, a photograph. So it, maybe it's one of the you know, as sometimes in crime series, you see them dipping their X-ray picture in that in that solution before they hang it up on a on a clothes line maybe maybe that's what this is a hypo but anyway it's right so let's go on bishop host it bishop okay let's stop there bishop has two main abbreviations in cryptic crosswords b which comes from chess notation so you might say bishop takes d8 or something b x d8 so b is bishop bishop also can be right reverend rr so look we've got an r here so I'm very, very much enamored with the view. This is going to be RR around something because it hosts a series of bike races. Is that a TT race or something? It has a quiet P. 
pedal. Uh, wrapped. Hmm. I was thinking about rat race, but that doesn't feel right. Um, rat trap. Rat trap. I quite like as a as, as something I've heard of. And I can ju the reason I can ju I like this is I can justify it from the wordplay. So we've got RR Right Reverend hosting a series of bike races. I think that's a TT. I don't know what TT is. Is that time trial? Is that what that stands for? I'm not sure. Um, and that has a quiet. Well, a is that a? And then quiet. You might see this on musical scores. To an instruction to play quietly is a P. Um, so that would give rat trap. And that has to somehow mean pedal. Rat trap. Well, I'm, de I'm not changing it again, so uh, we might as well look it up. I'm not going to change it. It must be right because it's completely justified. Oh, now it doesn't exist. That's going to make the rest of the puzzle quite hard to solve. Rat trap. Oh, no, oh, no there it is. Rat trap. A, a good grief, a toothed bicycle pedal. So it, it is just a normal definition. I have never heard that in my life. It is a trap for catching rats as well, and an unpleasantly restricting situation. God, that's, that's two quite tricky definitions, isn't it? One down and two down. Let's try nine across. Top up pre 50 mile trips here. Okay. Hmm. I haven't got this, but I think it's an anagram. I think it's an anagram of top up pre 50 in Roman numerals can be L and M can be abbreviated to mile. Let's do this. We do this every week, but it bears repeating because a lot of people, when they read cryptic clues, especially if they're new to them, they might have heard one or two things about how to solve them. And you come to the assumption that any word in a cryptic clue can be abbreviated to its initial. That is not true. So when I see mile in this clue, uh, what is it, nine across, I can't just say, oh, well, that can be M. It can only be M if the dis dictionary justifies M as an abbreviation for mile, which I'm pretty certain it does. Uh, and now I'm going to be proved wrong. It's not there, is it? It should be there somewhere. Maybe it's under lowercase. Yeah, there it is. M mile. Now, let's go, let's take the, this level of sophistication about abbreviations one step further. The times crossword will not use some of the really obscure um, abbreviations for, um, I'm trying to think of a good example. Let's, um, I don't know, let's, let's pick another one. There's, there's one I'm thinking of, which is something like strangeness. There it is. Yeah. You, you, You'd never see strangeness in a Times cryptic crossword clue abbreviated to S, although it could be. The dictionary does justify it. Stokes is another one you would never see. Um, but in the listener crossword, everything is game. So if you're doing the listener crossword and you see the word strangeness, absolutely it's going to be S, um, but it won't be in the Times. OK, but trips to me is telling me this is an anagram, because if, if words trip up, they sort of, you know, they fall over and they become jumbled. Um, so, and top up pre L and M will obviously give us the anagram fodder for a 10 letter answer. So can we actually then get this? And what you might say, OK, but if that's all true, Simon, what's the definition here? Question mark doesn't feel like a very long definition. Indeed not. Um, but. What this is sort of a semi and lit. So you have to read the uh, the whole clue, top up pre 50 mile trips here. Um, and it's giving you a hint if you read that literally as to what the answer might refer to. And I've now got it. It's petrol pump, um, which is an anagram. It's the anagram, exactly the anagram of the fodder we mentioned. And that is somewhere where you might fill up your car, a petrol pump. I think I think that's got all the right components. A lot of P's for sure. So actually, although these are difficult, well, hereditary was difficult. Hypo and rat trap were difficult definitions and petrol pump. No, petrol pump wasn't difficult, but but we have got a good start now. Let's try 
drop a clanger or something, three down. Well, <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's a bit lucky. Okay, it is a drop a clanger. If you show a lack of tact, you drop a clanger, and it, uh, if you um, if something produces a ring, it's a clanging sound. It's redolent of a bell, isn't it? So let's try that one, four down. Formal attire, top hat. Yeah, it is top hat, nice clue. Um, formal attire is top hat. Which, well, a synonym for which is the word that. And you can see that spelt out T-H-A-T is restricting an abbreviation for work. Now this does come up a lot. Work in a musical sense can be an opus, uh, which gives us OP. So we get top hat there. Now five down. Engineers face corrective, remedial. Uh, I think it is going to be remedial. Let me talk about why. Engineers very often in cryptocross words again it's going to it's basically got two abbreviations one is re for the royal engineers the other is ce for civil engineers um so re or ce and we had the r at the start so it's going to be re now once it's re we know that the definition must be the other side of the clue so it's i mean this is very easy in this case we've got a three word clue so once you know engineers is part of the wordplay the definition must be the word corrective and that led me to the idea of remedial. Now, is a face a medial? Oh, no, I'm wrong. <laughs> okay, wow. Okay, I need to, my squeaky chair is embarrassing me. Um, um, right, okay, so I'm getting text messages, but I am wrong. I said that engineers were gonna be RE or CE. I forgot there is another one, ME, military engineers. And that's actually going on here. So engineers is saying royal engineers, military engineers. Let me just justify ME. I think it is military engineers. No, it's not. It's mechanical engineer. Look, I'm, t I'm totally misleading you. Or mining engineer. So that's the, that's so it goes RE for one type of engineer, ME for another engineer, and a face of a face of a clock is a dial. And that gives us all that we need for remedial. So what's this bread and butter, presumably? Reliable, cheap accommodation, say, containing. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's beautiful wordplay. It, it is bread and butter. If you can't see why, it's worth, it's worth pausing the video to, to, to have a look at this one. Because it's, it's got quite a lot about it that I like. So the definition is reliable bread and butter. Cheap accommodation is a B and B bed and breakfast. B and B. The word say is cluing the word utter. If you utter something, you say it. So that gives us B and butter. We still need the read part of the clue, but that all of that, that B and utter, B and B utter, is containing a word for study, which is read. And that gives us bread and butter, which is the answer. Um, so that actually the top left was fine here. Let's tr let's go for six across. Successive letters. Okay, so I'm immediately thinking successive letters of the alphabet. Um, daughter's left for hotel. Well, mm, I haven't got this yet, but daughter's left for... Oh, no, I have got it. I have got it. I have got it. Okay. So my thoughts about this clue were correct. My brain was just too slow to solve or to understand it quickly. So successive letters, I was thinking, take four successive letters of the alphabet. And I was, as I was saying it, I was thinking, oh, my phone is going mad. Um, I was thinking, but I don't know that there are any words that you can construct. So you probably need a vowel, wouldn't you? So N O. P looks like it might work, but no, then you've got a Q. Not is not a word. Um, uh, so I, I couldn't think of any four letter sequences in the alphabet that would read as a word. But then it says daughter's left for hotel. Now here we need to know that D is an abbreviation for daughter, which I think comes from family trees. Um, and hotel is the international radio code word for the letter H. So what we need to do is to take a string of letters from the alphabet, which includes a D, and replace the D with an H. So how about C, D, E, F? 
if we took if we put C D E F here and we change the D for an H, we would get chef, and that is the name that's the word for a cook. And that's the answer. Very nice. So Prince's friend, I'm thinking Well, Prince encrypted crosswords is often Hal. Fr Prince's friend Prince Hal friend helping briefly with house Horatio yeah okay so this is Horatio who was oh now now I'm going to show my ignorance is this is this Hamlet I think it is I think it's Horatio f from Hamlet um, who was Prince of Denmark's friend and how does the wordplay work there well a helping is a ration and we take that we take that word briefly so we chop off its last letter we just get ratio and that goes with HO which believe it or not is a valid abbreviation for you've guessed it house let's justify that hostilities only again you'd never see that in the times crossword oh Ha, there it is ha, ho dot house so that's all good right let's try eight down charge and finest elderly for misbehaving charge and fine us elderly for miss well i haven't got this yet but i've i've now understood it f can be fine i think i think that's from pencil abbreviations let's see if we can justify that fine on lead pencils so that's why f can be fine uh, us elderly looks like it's nine letters to me he says without actually adding it up uh, it is and that though that those eight letters therefore sorry those nine letters are therefore misbehaving and that gives us 10 letters overall um which is what we need so this all means charge and it's f followed by an anagram of us elderly um charge ah uh, okay now i was wondering why i couldn't see this this is fleur de lis isn't it i think which has that weird spelling um i think it's spelled like that now i, th I think of that as a flag i don't know why it's a charge or in what sense it's a charge I mean, it must be right. There cannot be another anagram that works like that. Should we? I'm not changing it for sure. Let's let's look up Fleur de Lis and see. I thought it was a flag, but it's obviously not. Fleur de Lis. Uh, a heraldic design of disputed origin. Born by the kings of France. So okay, so it's something from her charges something from heraldry, isn't it? I can't remember what, but it is something. Um, yeah, a device born on a shield in heraldry. <laughs> so <laughs> that is the sense in which fleur de lis is is a synonym for charge in this clue. I mean, some people, if if you do this, and you, <laughs> and you come from some parts of the world, you must just think. That the the British are a strange people. You're right. <laughs> Ten across. Fish for fates sandwiches. Oh, okay. Well, this is a funny word as well. There is a fish called an orf. O r f e. Don't ask me anything about it other than it exists in the dictionary. Um, but this is a hidden. There's normally one of these in every Times crossword, and you can see that the letters f o r f e t e for for fate are sandwiching so in the middle the sandwich filling if you like for that string of letters is o r f and e which is this word now let's check that we're not talking total nonsense off there we go it's a variety of id which also comes up in crosswords sometimes a golden yellow semi-domesticated fish whenever i see semi-domesticated in the sense of a fish that always strikes me as very odd i mean you can't really domesticate a fish in the way that you could you know a border collie or something it must mean domesticated in a different sense but anyway that's that's where my brain goes right let's have a look at 11 down stealing from kitty before playing i love the clue i mean that's a very nice clue um 
stealing penny pinching from Kitty before paying. So I think we need a word for a kitty. And then we need a word for paying. And the whole thing means stealing. Footing. If you foot the bill, you pay it. So something f footing. Pussy footing. Ah, oh, that's brilliant. I love that. That's my right. That's my favourite clue. Because the reason this is so beautiful is the way that the clue reads. It reads very much in the sense that somebody sort of got their hand in a kitty, you know, in order to or in order to pay a bill. But the word stealing here is not being used in the sort of, you know, being a kleptomaniac type sense. It's being used as if you steal, you creep, you pussyfoot. So, so we've got kitty, pussy, before paying, footing, pussy footing. Very, very clever. Really like that. Now we've got some real chances with 15 across. Ugh. Opens act with flourish. A crowning a capstone. Why? That's weird. It is capstone. And that that's an example of where I don't quite know what my brain's been doing there. My brain read this clue and said capstone. And my conscious mind did not appreciate that capstone was an anagram of Open's act. That's really weird. Um, but now my conscious mind has taught, caught up with my subconscious mind and it now realises that flourish here is being used as an anagram indicator and a crowning achievement is a capstone. So that's good. Nine ac 19 across. I wish to take off clothes running on island. I wish, I pray to take off clothes running on island. Um, I haven't got this. Don't understand it either. Island is a terrifying word. Key could be an island. Um, I wish to take off clothes running on island. Don't know. I'm sorry. That's a bit worrying. Let's try 13 down. At least three accountants. Is that the first one that I haven't solved when I've looked at it? It is. I'm going back to it. Sorry. Uh, I, I have done this once in a video before where I solved every clue without needing to go on. So I'm going to carry. Just let me give the, this one another moment's thought. Um, I wish to take off clothes. I mean, clothes often then can indicate a container, but you only get one clue like off in any times crossword. Uh, although <laughs> having said that, that is a rule. That is a rule, I believe, that constructors are given if you construct the times crossword. We did find a puzzle in, in this sequence where there were two of these. Um, I wish to take off clothes running on island. I sort of want it to be the name of an island, but it just can't be. I mean, I think this first letter is going to be an O. Of, I wish to, of, to, I wish to take off. Take off clothes running on island. That's bizarre. I haven't got a clue what the definition is here. I mean, I couldn't, this couldn't be wrong. No, that cannot be wrong. I'll go, sorry, I'm going to have to move on. Don't understand. Um, is shocking piece of software inadequate to? Okay, I've got this. Um, so, how, do I, how did I get this? The way I got it was I looked at what we had and I noticed that a synonym for the word to, T-O-O, -O, is the word also. And I noticed that if also was inadequate, it wouldn't have its last letter. It would be slightly short. And I noticed you could do that. And if that was true, 
then could I think of a word that means is shocking that goes here? Well, yes, I can. Appalls. An app, an A double P, an app is a piece of software in the modern lingo, isn't it? So appalls is the answer. Um, now, 13 down. At least three accountants putting bookkeeping chap in the picture. Accountants can be CAs, chartered accountants, or I think it's, I mean, ACA is also this uh, an accountant, but CA sound feels quite good with the A second here. Putting bookkeeping chap in the picture. I don't know, I'm thinking cameraman or something, but it's not that. Let's try 17. Performing many functions. Exhausted yours truly. It's something like all in one. It is all in one. <laughs> okay. The way I got that one was I had no clue about it and I was trying to break it down in my brain. And I thought of a synonym for exhausted. And if you're exhausted, you're all in. Uh, not so it has a, a in mod, again in modern lingo it's a sort of poker poker I think is is where we experience the phrase all in but all in also means exhausted let me just show you that all in uh, literally there all in exhausted everything included it doesn't actually say a poker bet which is shows shows that the chambers dictionary isn't quite caught up with uh, the world um, so all in and then yours truly is, is referring to oneself. So one, all in one is something that performs many functions. So let's try 18 down. Moving easily, lissom is the word I'm thinking of. Finally fulfill one's part, and that's correct. Okay, so again, this is another word you never see or hear in any other context than in crosswords. Lissom, which means lies, I think. Um, and how do we get this? Well, finally fulfill is saying take the final letter of the word fulfill, that's the L. Ones is one apostrophe S, I being a synonym for one. You can use the Roman numeral if you like to justify that. Um, and then part is sum, so lissom is the answer. Now, if we could get 22 across, that feels like it would help. Intelligence facilities. Uh, incorporated in beds, I'm thinking cots there, gates and lamps, street furniture or something. Um, I haven't got a clue what this is. Lamps. Intelligence facilities. I wanted this to be something like, you know, CPU, central processing units or something. Or some part of your brain, neural network. Uh, I don't know. Don't know what that is. Men to go back. Always ending in retreat. Hmm. Wow, I don't know what that is at all. Men is a very awkward word for a cryptic crossword solver because men can refer to soldiers and soldiers are things that have so many short abbreviations. I mean, we've seen some of them, the Royal Engineers, um, the Royal Artillery, the RA, the OR, the other ranks, you know, there's just loads and loads of things. Always ending in retreat. So I'm not even sure I know which side of the clue is the definition. I'm tending towards retreat as the definition, but I don't know. 26. Take off and cross summit. Okay, I can do this one. Thank goodness. Um, this means summit. And the way to get it is to look at the word cross. And if you see the word cross, there are, unfortunately, there are a lot of crosswords, synonyms, short synonyms that, that can mean crosses as in hybrids, like mule is a cross. 
it's a cross between a, an ass and a donkey I think might, that might be wrong I, in fact now I have to look because I'm worried that I've misled you let's have a look uh, muke is not what I was trying to type mule uh, there you go it's an offspring of a donkey and a horse is a mule a hybrid a cross so that's why mule could have been the answer here but it's in the middle of the clue but the other thing it can be most simply is just literally an x as if you might write that a cross on a letter to indicate a kiss now if you take off something you copy it you ape it so ape x gives us the word for some apex so this word coming down is interesting isn't it so at least three accountants so it's something like c-a-c-a-c-a putting bookkeeping chap in so we might need a, a word for a bookkeeping chap i don't know what that's going to be tout or something like a, a bookkeeper on a race course in the pit oh casablanca casablanca it's going to be casablanca that's the name of a movie I don't, I don't know why it's this yet, but it's going to be Casablanca. <laughs> um, he says, wow, oh my goodness, this is so hard. This is so hard. Right, it's brilliant, but it's hard. Okay, I can justify this. So at least three accountants... I mean, this is ludicrous. You're going to think I'm talking total gibberish here. But we have to look at the phrase C-A-S-C-A -A -A to understand this. Now, I said that C-A was an abbreviation for an accountant. Let's firstly justify that because it's critical here. So C-A, chief accountant, apparently. No, it's not chartered accountant. Golly, I've misled you with so many abbreviations. Oh, no, it is chartered accountant also chief accountant okay but ca is clearly accountant so cas is indicating more than one accountant isn't it it's not saying how many but cas is the plural of ca so it's at least two accountants now add that to ca at the end that's another accountant so cas at least two accountants plus ca is at least three accountants which is the start of the clue at least three accountants and then we need to put into that putting bookkeeping chap in so we need to put in to our three accountants our casca ablan why is ablan a bookkeeping chap well book could be abbreviated to b and the name of a chap is alan <laughs> so a bookkeeping chap is b in alan and that gives us casablanca which is the name of a picture that is one of the hardest bits of wordplay you will find in any crossword <laughs> wow okay so what's this one then um intelligence facilities oh that's terrifying when i can't just write this i can't even think of a word that fits this first thing um incorporated in beds wow i don't know um I don't know let's try this one a retreat is an, a retreat and nook maybe men to go back always ending in retreat oh, I mean it is it's nook that's really that's just plain evil <laughs> that is plain evil okay uh, i mean i don't actually like this clue i think it's it's too evil and it although it does say what it means it's only just okay so the way we have to read this is to take the phrase men to go back and always take the ending letter from each word and if we do that, we get N-O-O-K. And that gives nook, which is a retreat. That's very difficult. And the reason I just feel that this always ending. Yeah, 
it's probably fair, isn't it? You're always taking the ending in that string of words. It's, it's clever. It is clever. It's just really hard. Um, 16 down. Let's try. Oh, this is an anagram. I don't know what the answer is yet, but a, whenever a constructor uses op in, 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 the, in the words of the clue, you have to ask why. Why would anyone use op? It must be because those specific letters were required for something. Now, what might that something be? Well, it must be an anagram. So a ninth op is eight letters. We're rectifying those. So rectified is the anagram indicator. And it means short passage. And the answer, therefore, is, oh, it's going to be, oh, it's something horrible like antiphon. I don't even know what an antiphon is, um, but it's a word I've seen in crosswords before. And it's an anagram of that string of letters. Let's look it up. Um, it's going to be, it's probably a short passage in music. Antiphon. Oh, there you go. Uh, chanting, a type of church music. Wow. Okay. Well, that's how to solve that one. So what is this then? Lessening. Less, at least I thought of one word that fits there. Lessening intelligence facilities incorporated in beds, gates and lamps. I mean, beds, gates and lamps is 14 letters, but actually there's no O, so that actually that's not going to be, it's not an anagram. Um, I still haven't got an, I haven't got a clue what that is. Let's try uh, 25. Thrilled reaction. At lazy morning, touring second rate dump. Thrilled reaction is a cheer. Cheerio. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't got a clue. Let's try that one. St oh, started with a 10 digit sum. That's a billion, isn't it? Um, originally that spent started inaugural no uh, with a 10 digits oh 10 digits sum I haven't got a clue what that is either oh this is getting tricky now 21 down does it have a G second letter so is this ending in ing uh, Queen visiting for one chance to see Old King. Wow. Is well, I think I've been helped by considering whether this ends in ing. I'm wondering if it's Egbert. <laughs> I'm also wondering if there was a King Egbert. How am I getting to Egbert? Well, I'm getting that by thinking Queen. I was actually thinking Queen was ER, but I think it might just be R, as in Regina, which I think is uh, Queen. Let's, let's try and justify that. Um, Regina, there it is, Latin for Queen. Um, so, Queen, R, visits for one, e.g., if you're saying... For, for example, you're saying for one, aren't you? So e.g. a chance is a bet. And that would give us Egbert, which I'm hoping is the name of an old king. Instigate or something for this one. Started, instigate, instigated would fit. Instigated. Started with a 10 digit sum originally. That's spent. Um, it's, I can see. Yeah, this is something like an anagram. It might be, in fact, an exact anagram of. I didn't say her name. I can't connect to your Wi Fi network. I'm, I will turn her off soon. Uh, she doesn't deserve to be involved in these videos. Um, she should listen politely. Anyway, so so started is is the definition. Instigated being the answer, and then we take 
or started with might be the definition. And then we've got a 10 digit and then the original letter of the word sum, which would give us an S. Now that does give us 10 letters, which are spent as in tired, I think is being used as an anagram. Into spent is the anagram indicator. Um, and I think that gives us the right anagram fodder um, for getting instigators as the answer. Now, let's try, I'm putting off 20 down. We're, zero percent tax i know how much how key this is this is because it's going to give me a letter in my i don't want this to be a vowel the first letter zero percent tax initially after i fail to declare returns what on earth zero percent tax that seems feels like it's zero vat or something tax initially t Zero percent after I fail to declare returns. I haven't got a clue what that is. That is a terrifying clue. Twenty three down female rivals at table with the papers. I have got this. Okay, so this is female is literally saying we want a lady's name. Rivals at table, if you see anything like that, think about bridge. Um, bridge pairs are north-south versus east-west. So rivals at the table, we need to take one of the abbreviations N and S from the north-south pair and one of the letters E and W from the east-west pair. Now if we take E and N and we add that to ID, your papers being your identity, we get Enid, which is the name of a, a lady. So Enid is the answer there. So a thrilled reaction, a lazy morning, at, la at lazy morning, touring second rate, something bin for, for dump? Could it be? Second rate could be B, as in if something's first rate, it would get a grade A. A second rate might get a grade B. Lying. Lying is a lazy morning. So, okay, so that's something like this then. Wheelie bin. Wee, a thrilled reaction. Wee. <laughs> okay, so it's wee with lying for lazy morning. Touring B for bin. Wheelie bin is a, is a dump. Oh, that's good because that gives us a B in this one, which doesn't help me. Well, it doesn't help me immediately know the answer, but surely we can have a good go at it now. I fail to declare returns. Not a bit or something. Zero percent would be not a bit. I'm just going to put that in and think about it. Tax initially after I fail to declare. Oh, ah, oh, this is brilliant. If you fail to declare in cricket, you continue to bat. You bat on. So I bat on is I fail to declare, which is reversed. It's returned after T initially, the first initial letter of the word T, which is there. So T, I bat on, all reverses. What is this then? If, if only. I wish, if only. It's easy. Oh, that's a relief. Um... I wish, if only, to take off clothes. To take off clothes running on island. To take off is to fly. I wish to, if only, take off, fly, clothes running. Oh, this is so, it's again, I mean, this has been put together by some, a very clever constructor. It's absolute listening posts would fit 22 across. I've just seen that. Um, but 19 across now, I think, we, I think we've got it. So I think, well, I think I can explain it. The way to explain it is this I, the first letter is 
the first letter I is, is an abbreviation for island. Let's justify that. Uh, oh, <laughs> let's justify it by typing in the right letter rather than... There we go. I is island there. So, so this is why this I can be island. And then we have to read the rest of it as take off. To take off is to fly, F-L-Y. And that's clothing. It's surrounding a word that means running. Well, if something is running, it's ongoing. It's on, isn't it? So that, and then th that string of letters, so fly around on, is put on or next to. So that's what this is, this on is doing. It's not the on in the clue. It's saying we put the fly, the fondly part, on an abbreviation for island, which is I. It's really hard. Now, this must be listening posts, which I can see are in um, whatever it was. What was the wording? in Intelligence centers or something. But I haven't understood why yet. Intelligence facilities. Okay, listening posts. Incorporated in beds. Gates and lamps. Um, incorporated in beds gates and lamps I don't know is this yeah I, I Oh, I see. Okay. It's punning on the fact that each of a bed has a bed post associated with it. A gate can have a gate post and a lamp can have a lamp post. So it's punning on the fact that those three things all have posts and therefore they could have listening posts. Um, oh, well, hello, hello. The, the grandma in the bed, you know, when, 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 the sort of the bedposts were going, oh, I'm seeing the flashing knobs. You, you, you know, yeah. Hello, hello. By the way, one of the funniest programs. I used to watch it with my grandparents who, um, who thought it was absolutely hilarious, as did I. And I saw it once when I was a young child on the stage in, in London. And it was, it was wonderful. It was quite wonderful. Um, I think it was I can't remember if it was before it was Gordon Kay had an he had an accident didn't he I can't remember if it was before or after that but I do remember Hair Flick who obviously was incredibly upright doing unbelievable gymnastics which was so out of character so sort of doing double flips and things across the stage it, and it, every, the whole audience was was in fits of laughter. I saw. I think I saw it with my my grandfather as well before he died, on the other on my father's side. And uh, yeah, he, he absolutely loved it. Anyway, gosh, that's bring, bringing back memories. Listening posts. This is a wonderful puzzle. It's really hard. It's really hard. I hope I hope I've got it right. How do I do this? I have to submit without the leaderboard because otherwise my average time will be decimated. Yay! There we go. Well, that was very, very good fun, wasn't it? Loved it. Very, very fine puzzle. Favourite clue, 11 down. Stealing from Kitty before paying. Absolutely brilliant. But there are a lot of things about that crossword that are impressive. Let me know how you got on. Let me know if you enjoy these, these videos. Do please do it. I know it's... I know it's a painful thing to have to log in to like a video or something, but it really does um, help the algorithm to associate, I think, these cryptic crosswords with things that people want to learn about. And I really do believe there is an audience out there. If only we could find it. Thanks for watching. Happy Christmas to you all. And we'll be back later with another edition of Cracking the Cryptic.